obedience. We are doing every day. So, that is a sign to us. You want to be raised to the nearness. You want to have Uruj ascension through your heart. You must submit fully your body, your spirit, everything you have, submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, no, no way to say no. If your ego says no, even if your heart, not your tongue, says no, it's not accepted, you did not submit, means you are still outside paradise. You want to be in paradise? What you have to do? Submit. That gives us a hint here. <coughs> Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was raised because he became fully submitting to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. All his body, all his spirit, everything was in submission. So nothing pulling him to us. He's been raised like angels. <coughs> no anymore power pulling him down. Can move. That's why Allah brought him to two bows of an arrow. Because he was in complete ubudiyah. He didn't disobey. Anyone else than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went into mi'raj? No. Means no one was in full submission. And that's why Allah made him to lead all prophets. Prophets alayhi wa sallam, they they were the highest to reach maqam al the full submission. But Sayyidina Muhammad was the more on top of them. From all prophets, only Sayyidina Muhammad who been, huh? What? Been what? Raised. Been what? Raised. Huh. No other prophet. Means Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has reached a level that because of his fully submission and his real Tawheed that has no doubts in it when you submit, you be raised. So when he was in full submission, what Allah did? Raised him. Raised him where? More than that. More than Kaaba Kausanya or Adna. Because he said, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. He raised his name with his name. 